What's up guys, welcome. And in today's video, we'll be talking another topic under probability of compound events, and that is the probability of independent and dependent events. So sometimes a problem will be asking us to solve for the probability if we will be getting two items from a set of uh, items. So meron tayong tinatawag na independent events. And these are events that has no connection to another event's chances of happening. And it usually has the keyword with replacement. So this will be the formula that we will be using in solving for the probability of independent events. So the probability of event A and event B with replacement is equal to the probability of event A times the probability of event B. So take note of the keyword. Ang keyword natin dito ay end. And kapag ka end yung uh, conjunction, we will be multiplying. Hindi kagaya nung sa previous video ng mutually exclusive and non-mutually exclusive, yung conjunction na ginamit is or. At yung operation involved doon is addition and subtraction. Pero dito, and yung ginamit na conjunction, we will be multiplying probabilities. Okay, so let's have an example. A bag contains two red marbles and uh, one blue marble. Pipita draws a marble then returns it to the bag. She draws a second marble. What is the probability that the first marble is red and the second one is blue? So dito sa problem, uh, she will be getting two marbles. And that the first event is yung makakuha ng red, the second event is yung makakuha ng blue. Example siya ng independent event kasi hindi affected si second event. Kasi sabi sa problem, nung bumunot siya nung una, sinauli din niya. So, walang nagbago sa sample space. Walang nagbago sa bilang ng marbles na nasa loob ng bag. Okay? So, kapag ka-independent events, just get the probability of the first event and then multiply it to the probability of the second event. So, let's do that. Okay, so... Kunin muna natin yung probability na makakuha siya ng red, that is the first event. And the probability of getting red is, okay, since may dalawang red marble sa bag, 2 ang numerator, and then the denominator will be the total number of marbles that is in the bag. And there are a total of 3 marbles. The probability of getting a red marble is 2 thirds, and then we're going to multiply it to the probability of getting a blue marble. And since isa lang naman yung marble dyan, and diba sabi sa problem na bumunot siya nung una and then sinauli niya yung binunot niya, so tatlo pa rin yung marble sa bag. So one third. Okay? So nakunin natin yung dalawang probabilities. Next thing we're going to do is to multiply the fractions. And the rule in multiplying fractions is ganito lang yan. Okay, so just multiply the numerator and the numerator. So 2 times 1 is 2. And multiply the denominator. So 3 times 3 is 9. So hindi siya kagaya nung adding and subtracting fractions na kung meron kang fractions with the same denominator, eh, you copy the common denominator. So iba naman yung rule kapag ka nag-multiply na tayo ng fractions. In multiplying fractions, just multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators, okay? So the final answer here is 2 over 9. So the probability that she will be drawing red and blue is 2 over 9. Nine. Let's have another example. What is the probability of getting a heart and a spade card with replacement from a standard deck of cards? When we say with replacement, kapag bumunot ka ng card, i-re-replace mo siya. So, you are going to bring it back. Okay? So, ibabalik mo siya kung saan mo siya binunot. Okay? So, basta kapag ka meron yung keyword na with replacement, Example siya ng independent event. Walang magbabago sa bilang ng total number of cards. Okay, so how then do we solve this? Probability of getting hearts and the speed. Okay, so kunin muna natin yung probability na makakakuha tayo ng heart. So ilan ba ang heart cards sa uh, standard deck of cards? So there are 13 uh, heart cards over 52 
total number of cards. And then we're going to multiply it to the number of spade. Okay, so yung spade natin, yung bilang niya is 13 as well. And the total number of cards is 52. Okay, 52 pa rin yan kasi sinoli mo nga yung unang binunot mo. Okay, so before tayong mag-multiply, tingnan muna natin yung fraction kung pwede siyang ma-simplify para mas madali tayo mag-multiply later, okay? So kung titignan mo yung 13 over 52, we can actually um, simplify that to 1 fourth. So of course, 1 fourth din ito. So yung i-multiply na lang natin is 1 fourth at saka 1 fourth. Okay, so I hope nakuha yun. So, 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 over 4 times 4 is 16. So, the probability na makakakuha siya ng heart at saka spade ay 1 over 16. Okay, so I hope nakuha yung konsepto ng independent events. Okay, so walang magbabago. So, pupunta na tayo sa dependent events. Okay, so dependent events, the first event influences the probability of the next event. It usually has the keyword without replacement. So, ito na yung difference. Kasi kung bumunot ka, hindi mo na siya isosole. So, kung hindi mo na siya isosole, mababawasan na yung total number of items in the set. So, may magbabago sa denominator. So, yes, we'll be using this formula. The probability of event A and event B without replacement is equal to the probability of event A times the probability of event B given the probability of event A. So, sinasabi lang naman nito na ano yung probability na nung event B kung nangyari si event A. Medyo magulo ba? Let's have an example. What is the probability of picking a jack and a king card without replacement from a standard deck of cards. Kung, sabi, kung sinasabing without replacement, you will not be uh, replacing the card that you just uh, draw. So, kapag kabinunot mo na si Jack, hindi mo na siya isosole, meaning mababawasan nung isa yung total number of cards dun sa standard deck of cards mo. So, how do we do it? So, yung unang kukunin daw is jack. So, ano ba yung probability na makakakuha siya ng jack? So, may apat na jack sa standard deck of cards. And there are 52 cards all in all. And we're going to multiply it to the probability of getting a king. So, may apat na king. Pero, since sinabing without replacement yan, hindi mo na isinoli si jack sa, sa standard deck. So, nabawasan na ng isa yung standard deck of cards mo. So, magiging 51 na Siya. Okay, so I hope na kuha yun. Nakadepende yung probability nito sa event A, sa first event. Okay, so after that, kung titignan mo si 4 over 52, we can simplify that to 1 over 13. And then we're going to multiply it to the probability of the second event, which is 4 over 51. So hindi natin pwedeng simplify si 4 over 51. And so if we're going to multiply the numerators, it would be 4. And 13 times 51 is 663. Okay, so hindi na siya pwedeng ma-simplify pa. And so this is the final answer. So ito yung probability na makakakuha siya ng jack and king without replacement. Let's have another example. What is the probability of getting a heart, a spade, and another heart without replacing the previous cards. So, tatlo ang bubunutin niya. Okay? So, yung mga event natin ay makakuha ng heart, spade, and then another heart. Okay? So, without replacing, hindi isusole yung mga naunang binunot. So, my changes sa denominator. Unang event natin is yung makakuha ng heart. Ilan ba yung heart? There are th 13 hearts out of 52 cards. And we're going to multiply it to the second event, which is yung makakuha siya ng spade. Okay, so yung makakuha siya ng spade is 13 over, since bumunot ka na nung isa, mababawasan na nung isa yung total number of cards. So magiging 51 yung denominator. And we're going to multiply it to the probability of getting another heart. So given na na nakuha mo yung isang heart, Doon sa first event, nabawasan na yung 13 na yan. So yung 
magiging numerator natin dito is 12. Okay? So, given na, na nakabunot ka ng dalawa, mababawasan ng dalawa yung sample space or yung total number of cards. So, magiging 50 na yung denominator na. Tingnan natin yung mga pwede natin is simplify. So, 13 over 52, we can simplify this to 1 fourth. 13 over 51, wala, hindi siya reducible. And si 12 over 50, we can uh, reduce that to 6 over 25. And just multiply yung mga numerators and multiply the denominators. And so the final answer is 13 over 850. So actually, napakaliit ng probability. Okay, so this is unlikely to happen. So that is all, guys, for today. I hope you already know the difference of independent and dependent events. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.